You want to find that. You want to find those deals because that's what you want to buy. You're going to know that if you can buy that property at a discount today, you'll know that the market will solve that for you when the people start to migrate to that area. So here's why I think that we have such an incredible opportunity. The first thing is people are hanging on interest rates. They're not going down anytime soon. And even if they do a little bit, it's not going to be significant. So what we're seeing today in the real estate market, we're going to see for many years to come. The second thing that's happened is that the migration patterns have significantly changed the way real estate is priced in many different markets. There are people moving out of markets, which is creating a negative effect on those markets. And there are people moving into markets, which is creating a positive effect on those markets. The third thing is we have a massive affordability problem. So right now, the average cost of a single family home is well over 400, and the average cost of rent is over $2,000 a month. This has created a massive affordability problem for most Americans. So the real problem that we have is the lack of supply or the underbuilding of America for the last 18 years. We have a five to $6 million housing supply shortage. This is not gonna change anytime soon. So as a real estate investor, I'm gonna take advantage of the migration patterns, the lack of affordability, and the current interest rates to be able to lock in my price today, hedge inflation, and wait for the shortage of housing to do its thing. Because the politicians are not going to allow more housing, and they're certainly not gonna lower interest rates again like we just had because that, of course, is just gonna create another real estate bubble, which we're already in. And let's say all of a sudden interest rates come down and they start to favor new construction. Well, even if they do that today, it's not gonna significantly hit the market for a couple of years or more because it takes a long time to get a property built and of course occupied. So there's a lag effect with what is ever started today. So there's a lag effect with whatever starts, let's say in 2024, it's really not gonna show up until 2025 anyway. If you guys wanna see what the biggest risks to the real estate market in 2024 are, click on this next video.